If you've ever spent some time scrolling through travel Instagram, you might have come across some pictures like this. People on a paradise beach posing with massive pigs. Now this island in particular is somewhere in the Bahamas, but you can actually find somewhere quite similar right here in Thailand. So join us as we go in search of Thailand's Pig Island. This pork-themed retreat is only a few kilometers away from one of southern Thailand's most famous tourist destinations. But what is it really like? To find out, we set off from the much bigger and busier island right next door, where we had been living for the last couple of months. Hello and welcome back to another day in Thailand, where you once again join me from the popular shores of Koh Samui. We're going to be heading across to Koh Mat Sum, which is off the south coast of Samui, which is an island most famous for its pork-based inhabitants. We are staying right up in the north of Samui in Boput. So first things first, we need to get down south to Tongkrut Pier to take us across to Thailand's Pig Island. Let's do this. The calm waters of Bangrak are a great starting point for many of Samui's best island hopping trips, but not to see our porky pals. There are plenty of tour operators that will pick you up for this trip, and ours was the brilliantly named Mr. Man. If you are staying in the tourist areas in the north of Samui like we were, on a trip to Pig Island, you'll spend more time driving down to the pier than you'll spend on an actual boat. We left our house in Banrak at about 8.30 in the morning, and it took us around 45 minutes to drive right down to the south of the island. The origin story of the Komatsum pigs changes depending on who you ask. Some say they were brought to the island by a man called Mr. Kit who rescued them from the slaughter, and others told me that the pigs actually swam themselves across from a nearby island, which seems unlikely. Either way, once the word got out, people started to visit and the rest is history. Now, whenever the idea of tourists and animals gets put into the same experience, I naturally start to ask some questions. And there has been a fair amount of controversy about the pig island experience in the Bahamas, with many copycat attractions leading to mistreatment of the animals, especially the fact that they're encouraged to swim for food. But to be honest, I didn't see anything particularly alarming during my research into the Thailand equivalent, with most people saying that the pigs were free to roam around the island, there just weren't that many of them and they weren't forced to swim. The whole day trip, including a return hotel transfer and a private boat, cost us 4,000 baht overall. So considering the distance, it wasn't a bad price when split between all of us. There are no unspoilt gems on a developed island like Samui, but this southern region was definitely more rustic and relaxed than the more popular beaches in the north. Right then, we have made it across to the pier and straight across the water here, we can see our first stop, which is Tian Island, where we're gonna do some snorkeling. And then just to the left over there is Komad Sum, the pig island. So let's get onto the boat and get to our first stop. Like I said, we booked an entire boat to ourselves and you can visit many more different islands from this pier. We could have chosen to include a stop at a deer island called Koh Rap, but unfortunately it wasn't the right season for us to see them. So it was just the two stops for us that morning. The journey across to Madsum only takes about 10 minutes from the beach and the first port of call was even closer than that. Koh Tian is a sparsely inhabited island known as one of the last true secluded getaways in this part of Thailand. But we weren't going to visit the island itself. We stopped just off the coast to check out what was beneath the water. Our tour price included equipment rental for snorkeling and this was a really nice spot for it. Koh Tian is surrounded by coral reefs which were badly damaged thanks to dynamite fishing in the 1980s, but it has partly recovered since and there were plenty of fish and the water was nice and clear. After about half an hour of swimming around, we started to get a craving for some bacon. Only joking but it was time to battle the waves on the way towards our main target for the day. And it only took a few minutes before we were pulling into what was a genuine island paradise. Mm -hmm. 
Komatsum is a place with powdery white sand, crystal clear water. It even has a lovely bar and restaurant area with plenty of places to sunbathe and enjoy a cocktail. You pay a 50 bar entrance fee to moor up here which goes towards the maintenance of the island and it really was spotless here. So by all accounts this could be a description of any paradise island in Thailand. But that is not what this island is known to be. And sure enough, almost right away, we found exactly what we came to see. Well, here we are. We have made it over to today's main event. This is Komad Sum, AKA the Pig Island. And I'm very pleased to report that that nickname is very, very accurate. Basically, as soon as you get off the boat, you see them right there. The sort of a shack restaurant bar area. And that's where they seem to hang out, presumably because there's lots of food around. But there's all sorts of pigs, big ones, small ones, very cute little piglets. It's very, very strange. It almost feels like a bit of a farm park like we have back in the UK. So we've got lots of families standing around the pigs trying to get good photos with them. But even if you're not interested in seeing some porkers, this is actually a really nice island in its own right. As you can see, the sand is really white and the water is clear and blue. So if you just want a paradise island to come to and relax and sit on the beach, this is a great spot. It does get quite busy around where the boats moor up, where that little restaurant is. But you can just walk down the beach to where I am now. And as you can see, it's very, very quiet. And there's people kayaking, people swimming. It's really, really nice here. The pigs seem to spend most of their time in the shaded area behind the restaurant to escape the heat. And I didn't see anybody force them to do otherwise. Tourists generally kept their distance and we definitely didn't try touching the pigs. And after about an hour and a half with them, it was time to head back to Samui. It was a fun day trip, if a little strange, but definitely worth the trip if you're looking for something a bit more unusual. Next time we explore our island home for over two months, looking at the quality of life and cost of living on Koh Samui.